Yes, I'm going to try and draw uh, old Don Don Trump Trump. Uh, now, I've got, yeah, I've got the pad here. Um, I don't know if you can see. I'm trying to do, yeah, like I'm filming with Facebook. So that's in my way a bit. So it's going to be tricky. Last time you see it was at a weird angle and the sun was reflecting so you couldn't see everything I was doing um, but this is this is in my way a little bit but we'll see what we can do right so ah, relax so I start another layer and let's start drawing Don Don Trump Trump um, that's my reference for him I don't really need it now I think I've sort of got it in the bag. But I want to do a fairly accurate representation of him this time because the Statue of Liberty um, is a sort of edwardian -y kind of thing so I usually start with the eyes. I want it to look fairly sort of traditional um, you know like the sort of um, Sunday Times magazine kind of you know, um, political cartoonists kind of vibe. So uh, let's see. So I just want to smooth off some of this line work. It's a bit wibbly wobbly. This is his eyes. Oh, I'll just um, put my phone on just in case you want to see anything to me. Like, duck! That'd be handy. <laughs> it's behind you. Uh, oh. <coughs> oh dear, sorry. Okay, just finding Facebook. Bear with me. I'll oh, just turn the media down there we go right so if you want to say anything let me know um, you want to, you know you want to chip in go ahead right so uh, yeah so this is his kind of mean little eyes ah <sighs> sort of hurts me being mean to him really um, but then again it doesn't because he's such an oaf So he's got these baggy eyes. These sad little ball sacks. Oh dear. I'm exhausted just doing it. So after I've done this, I'll put it on cartoon stock if you want to use it for your um, websites or what have you. And it's going to be a t-shirt design as well. I'm setting up a t-shirt shop. Uh, with one of my friends online um, and I'll let you know when that goes live because that's very exciting and be all my work roughly 80 odd designs so it should be uh, really nice and what's nice is I've got so many different styles so it looks like lots of different people have worked on it but now it's all me ha <laughs> um, so yeah, he's mean old eyebrows. <laughs> you know what, I feel like he's looking at me. <laughs> I've just got these mean eyes looking at me. <laughs> oh dear. I remember when I was working in um, Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia? I wasn't working in Yugoslavia, you idiot. Um, Romania. And um, I was doing this job where I was drawing on a whiteboard and the client was sitting away off looking at the screen and they, all, they always seem to be titting about listening to like you know watching bloody YouTube videos and things so when they weren't looking 
I drew a pair of eyes. <laughs> All they could see were these eyes looking at them. And then I was fired. No, uh, they laughed. Then I was fired. No, no, they didn't fire me. Well, they did eventually, but um, I think the company was bought out in the end. At a loss. <laughs> when I left. That's what I heard. I don't know. It didn't end well, but um, suffice to say, um, the beginning and the middle bits were very good. Uh, and the Romanians, the Roman Romanians, uh, were lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely people. I had so much fun out there. They were great. So, this kind of Muppet smile. Yeah. Oh. Well, oh. oh. that's my wife asking if I'm okay. I'll answer her later. Because I am. And the chin. It hurts me looking at the chin. It's all dimpled. Ugh. Oh dear. Well, you know, when I grow old, when I'm 70, shoot, you know, quoting Yoda, would I look as good? I don't know. Might not even make it. He might kill us all. <laughs> then. Hey, you're gonna laugh, aren't you? It might be good. You know, I mean. Apparently, um, when the Mongols killed everyone in Russia, forests sprouted up and, um, you know, the climate got better. So, you know. Well, it might be good for the planet if he does kill us all, I guess. So, maybe the planet's rooting for him. But I'm certainly not. See, I, I always used to say I'm going to be a millionaire when I'm 30. Now, I've overshot that by 21 years. But, you know, I, I reckon, my, my, my feeling is that um, if I ever do sort of make it and people start buying my cartoons and all that sort of stuff, as soon as I make it, the world will explode. <laughs> mm. God. Which would be nice. Um... Oh god, my mouth's going dry. I don't know how um, DJs do it, but then again, they do have a break. I'm just sort of chatting about crap endlessly. So if you want to throw a question at me, go ahead while I'm on. Um, and I can answer. Uh, 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 uh. There we are. Yeah, I don't think I'm doing him any injustice. <laughs> I think he looks too good. Um, how can I make him look worse? Hang on a sec. Um, he's got to look funny and that looks a bit bland to me. So I think what I'm doing is I'm being a bit too kind. Um, I'm going to marquee that off, and I think. Yeah, I don't know though. No. Yeah, let's move that over. Maybe I need to move this up. Ooh. Might be onto something there. Uh, I think his mouth kind of he's very ki he's got a very kissy looks like he's trying to kiss there maybe that's how he sort of gets round people he always looks like he's about to give them a little smooch he's got lovely lips um yeah Looks like he smells of talcum powder. Again, that's very rude. Uh, my mum would not be happy with me 
talking about 70 year old men like that. And uh, wasn't it John Lennon once said that you have to um, pity these people? <coughs> um, like you would the mentally ill, I think he said that. Rather than hate them. Yeah, I mean, he, he's got a point. He wasn't daft, was he, old John? And he, he was quite a nice cartoonist, actually. He could draw. Thing though, I mean, these days, um, art is not on the syllabus enough, and I think children need music and art for their mental well-being. Look how stable I am. Do you know what I mean? It's um, that's not too bad. Just. I think, yeah, mm, no, nah, mm. what I'm going to do, I'll just quickly answer my wife and say I'm fine, how are you, otherwise she'll think I'm being a bit sniffy, so, uh, oh good, you okay, you okay, pink, then she's going to answer me, oh, I did an exclamation mark instead of a instead of a question mark. Oops, looks a bit rude. I'm sure she'll get over it. Oh, hello. Oh God. Now I've got rid of my Facebook. There we go. Right. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of that and. Just on another layer. Uh, yeah, it's got to look like it's got coming down and coming back up again. Oh, that's not bad. That's okay. And then. That looks too nice. Um, maybe you can see too much of his eyes. Hang on. It's just because he's got quite heavy lids, and they sort of come down like that. And he looks like he's half asleep. Um, The wife again. Hang on a sec. Yeah, maybe they're not small enough. I'll transform them. Yeah, that's probably it. Also got to do the hair as well. Hang on a sec. What are you saying? Oh dear. She's not feeling. She's feeling a bit tired and phlegmy. Just said, oh dear. Um. Yeah. Probably not the best response. Uh, right. Okay. So. I think what I'll do is save a bit of time. I don't know that. Uh, hang on, no. I don't like the cheekbone. Cheekbone's got to go.
keep it, I think. No, that's... Oh man, I'm having problems. Got a kind of, got a kind of square chin that looks like dog food when you plop it out on a plate. Maybe if I work backwards, so instead of working down, I work up. And wobbly but I can smooth that out whoops <sighs> get a bit of color on there look fine um, of course he's going to be green because I'm drawing him as the Statue of Liberty so that's uh, I wonder what his dad looked like. I wonder where he got his hair from. It'd be funny if it was his mum, wouldn't it? Oh, that would be good to look at. I mean, it's very easy to be a winner when you're given. Uh, how many? How, how much did he get? It's like eighty million or something. I think he lost it all and then he got it back again but it's contacts as well isn't it you, you sort of know how to talk to bankers and things and what Trump did uh, which was brilliant and what's sort of um, changed New York is during um, the banks pretty much took over New York uh, because government couldn't sustain it and he bought lots of property for pretty much nothing um, to turn into um, rich man, you know, rich men's sort of apartments and things, um, and basically just borrowed the money, put, barely put any money in himself, and he made a killing. But basically. Um, We're not run by governments anymore, we're, we're run by banks. Because they've invested all the money in, uh, you know, infrastructure and what have you. Uh, yeah, it's true. So, this guy pretty much runs America inside and out. It's a terrifying prospect. We're doomed. <sighs> Apologies for the uh, terrible Scottish accent. Hey, it's gruesome. <laughs> Would you care to look again? It's gruesome more. Hooray! <laughs> that joke was brought to you by the 1970s. <sighs> so, let's get a let's get a wiggle on. I've got I've got to make dinner in a minute. Go. 
I've heard Wonder Woman is dreadful on the grapevine. If it is, you wonder what's going to happen to the DCU. Because a lot of people were, were pinning their hopes on that one actually being any good. Right, so big, big ears. And that kind of hair that pops out. Here we go. That's not too bad. So I'm going to quickly just do the, oh yes, that's completely the wrong shape. You're fired. Um, the crown of thorns. What are they, by the way? What is she wearing on her head, the Statue of Liberty? I mean, what is that? Is it a weapon? What, what does it represent, actually? I mean, to me, it looks a bit like uh, the thorns on Christ's head. You know? But I can't remember seeing anything in like Greek mythology or what have you. What that is. I mean, what's the point of that? Like a rollerball helmet. <laughs> or a dog collar. <laughs> yeah. Something Sid Snot used to wear. Oh, Sid Snot. Sid Snot, yeah. Kenny Everett. Oh, we miss you. Kenny Everett. Poor sod. Oh, I loved Ken Kenny Everett. Though, some of the jokes on his show were appalling. Um, but then, uh, we were watching a thing about the 70s. And there was a uh, Dave Allen sketch in a swimming pool and this woman was drowning. And the lifeguard jumps in, literally hauls her out of the steps. And this guy's Dave Allen. I don't know how he did it. I mean, it, you know, actually got, you know, it's all done in one shot. He, he picked her up and pulled her out up the steps and she's pretending to be like, you know, drowned. And he takes her off to the uh, cubicle and, um, you know, gives a cheeky grin to the audience and closes the curtains and uh, molests her. That was a joke. That was a joke in the 70s. Uh, let's not go back to that. That is not funny or acceptable. <sighs> right, so, um, yeah. And that sort of attitude to women um, has caused us so many problems. Because it's not right. Ah, anyway. So she, and she's got this, these, these vents in her head. Um, which is nice. Really, I'm surprised because uh, she came from France, she, this lump of copper and steel, come from France, um, Eric Idle, Eric Idle, <laughs> oh god, Eiffel, he's not Eric though, is he? Oh gosh, what's he doing? <laughs> anyway, yeah, Eric Idle, um, he of Monty Python, uh, designed it. Did he design the actual statue? I, mm, I don't know actually. But being French, I'm surprised she's not smoking. 
<laughs> oh, little hero. Oh, French cousin. Oh, hello. Sorry about that. Woo! Hopefully you can see that okay. I think that's about right. Um, yeah, Eric Idle. And I had a goodies um, at, uh, skit on there and he was um, beating up this woman. Uh, which Bill Oddie watched and kind of st stood by it. I'll stand by that. And in a way, he was sort of right because it was a bit like corporate Britain, but on the other hand, I don't know. I don't know. I remember at the time um, thinking it was outrageous. But just because it was outrageous, I don't know. But then it was getting towards the punk era, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I don't think you can justify it, actually. Not unless... I, I mean, things like... Um, True Romance, where she's fighting for her life. I mean, violence like that, you know, is all too common. And she defies him. Um, and it's not a comedy. Well, hmm, it's a bit of a comedy, isn't it? Again, you see my theory? Get the audience on your side. Have a bit of comedy. In everything. They were talking about, um, I was watching this uh, World at War and it's pretty grim, you know, they were talking about Iwo Jima. <coughs> oh dear, and it's the only um, conflict the Americans had in the Pacific where they took more casualties than the Japanese because the Japanese actually bunkered, hunkered down and did it properly before they were <coughs> I think they convinced themselves they were immortal and they just ran at the Americans and the Americans shot them down um, weird tactic really when you've got less numbers um, but they actually dug themselves in and the American soldiers were saying that they had a wicked sense of humour they had to <coughs> um, so, if you don't reflect that in a war movie, then you're not doing a war movie, as far as I'm concerned. Right, so, um, and I'm right. So, uh, right, on another level, I'm doing this fat little body, <laughs> this Nero little creature. Oh, God. Sorry, I don't want to be rude. Don't be rude. So hard. I'm looking forward to listening to what John Oliver has to say. Um, I think he's starting... Oh gosh. It's like the 28th or something of February. Um... That's a brilliant series if you haven't uh, seen it. Oh god, what's it called? Last Week Today or something. It's on HBO. On, on Sky. And uh, John Oliver, a uh, British comedian, gone out to America, um, was on The Daily Show, and now he's got his own show. Uh, and he is so good. But you wonder how America functions really because there's so many stupid little laws and things it's um, quite a strange country in many respects just shut this door oh. yeah what would he have in his hand oh 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 I know. He's not going to have a book, is he? He'll have a... He'll have a Samsung or something. <laughs> so, yeah. That's 
So he's sort of tweeting. And I, I still don't know how that's allowed. I can't wait to see what Oliver Stone does with this. I bet he's prepping already. He did that W.W. Bush thing, didn't he? And he was still in term then, I think. Yeah. So a phone. Still looks too nice. I wonder if his mouth is big enough. Hang on a sec. Let's just have a test. Because I think we can tolerate a bigger mouth. Smom Factor 10. Let's see. Oh yeah. I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, and then, here we go, yeah, 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 so, just that sort of stretch marks. Oh, he's so smarmy. Oh. Yeah, Kenny Everett jokes. I don't really, yeah, well, um, Captain Kremen. I used to do, and uh, I was a big fan of Captain Crumman. Did it? Did all his own jingles. In fact, he um, did a lot of stuff for the Beatles. Uh, he used to, they used to produce these um, floppy singles, and it, it was him sort of producing them. And he was well into uh, sort of messing about with tape and doing all sorts of loops. And uh, he influenced them because he was such a sort of editor that uh, you know for their um, you know uh, Sergeant Pepper albums and what have you they were they were you know I mean he obviously didn't tell them what to do or anything but his sort of editing techniques gave them ideas to do those sort of things. Kenny Everett, I mean, he was an amazing character and not given enough credit for that. Ah. I thought he was brilliant. I mean, I was like 11, 12, something like that. Ah, oh dear. Yeah, uh, he was on Capital Radio. and he got Well, he was on BBC. But I always thought he was better on Capital. He seemed to be, uh, seemed to be freer. But yeah, if you haven't heard of him, check it out. He was a big influence on the Beatles. And as was, um, there was this um, woman who did the sound effects for Doctor Who and the... Uh, I think she, she helped them out in a lot of, uh, you know, gave them a lot of ideas how to actually produce music because they were doing some pretty extraordinary things at the BBC at that time. Um, you just have to listen to what Doctor Who sounded like then and that was like 1962 what she was doing incredible uh, right yeah so he's giving the finger obviously beautifully manicured fat little finger. They say you can't polish a turd, but Mythbusters proved that wrong. They actually polished a turd. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> um, hang on, I'm doing the middle thing. So, doing that, so that's on the outside. You got two. <sighs> I always have to think about it. Sorry about this. A bit rude, but I suppose it's supposed to. Uh, 
She's got bare arms, isn't she? I don't mean hairy arms. Yeah, I think um, we can afford Donald some hair. Probably isn't that hairy though, because he's sort of blonde, isn't he? So it might just be like silky down. <laughs> it sort of shimmers. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, he has this mane of hair that he gets his wife to brush. What's her name? Oh, God. She don't look happy. Like sad Ben Affleck. <coughs> uh, sad Fleck? Anyway. Yeah, what's her name? She looks... Uh, I don't want to be rude about her. I mean, she's, you know, making her living. Doing, I don't know, what does she do? You just hear Gold Digger though, don't you? I mean, she looks like she's taking her granddad out. allowance anyway shut up do this so we have a finger actually I don't know how tall um, Trump is but looking at this I'm thinking he'd make a good Wolverine bear with me Wolverine in the comics is five foot four and short and stocky not you know Huge Jack Jackman size, and he's ugly. I like uh, not like Huge Jack. I always want to say Huge Jackass, but I think Hugh, Hugh Jackman is fab and groovy. I, um, me and my mate Andrew, we went to the Baftas and uh, stood out in the rain and snow. And it's soon, isn't it? Baftas, right about um, like Valentine's Day, and. Um, Hugh Jackman was one of the few people that come out and was just he hey, hey, ooh, he'd come out of the car like he hey, hey, of course the photos I took were rubbish but um, he was really nice and Tom Hanks was really nice and George Clooney oh wow I had the perfect shot of George Clooney and he looked at me waved and I waved back and I didn't, you know, I wasn't able to take a photo of him. And it was horrible weather, peeing down with rain. Yeah, in fact, not too many British people, uh, stars or what have you, um, did that. Yeah. Right. So I think that needs to move over or actually let's just that feels better. I think that's it as far as uh, maybe I need a plinth. Yeah, I think actually he's a bit wonky onk, so I think it, yeah. Okay, plinths, 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 plinths. I do need a plinth because I, I've got a joke for this. And it, the joke can be on the plinth, can't it? Hang on a sec. You just wait. There's a little joke. It's not the Statue of Liberty. Okay. See if you can come up with the joke before I can. Well, I've already come up with it. But. So, it's a play on words with the Statue of Liberty. Okay. I will announce it when I colour it up properly. So, um, 
Let's see. So he's on a plinth. Do 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 do. Yeah. Oh. Well, that is straight. So. That's the top of the plinth. Project it down. That'd be nice if there's a bit of. Yeah. That's good. Rather than being flat on, I think it looks better um, with a bit of perspective. So he's almost looking up at us and flicking us the bird. When did that become a thing in England? I don't know. We didn't have that in my day. Just the two fingers. The old Agincourt archers salute to the French. We only won that because they fell over in the mud, but uh, don't tell the French that. Basically, the knights marched and fell over, and they all sort of fell over each other. And um, a bunch of our sort of lads with knives just went along slitting their throats. The archers played a part, obviously, but um, the French were all geared up in their posh kind of armour and um, it wasn't suited to the conditions. So they, uh, it was too heavy, basically. That's how we won that battle. Anyway. Um, Just blind luck, really. But yeah, they, they did fear our archers um, because of the... Oh, what? The longbow, what was it? It was Ash? No, it wasn't Ash. Oh, I can't remember. And the Mongols were good because they had a composite bow. So that it could be much shorter, so they could ride with it. There you go. <laughs> <coughs> now you know that. Right, so... Um, do, 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 do. Just going to colour up... Uh, the statue. And she is going to be green. I do like that green effect you get with copper. That's a bit too green. Is it? Is it too green? I think it is. It's going to be, yeah, more like that. Yeah, so just fill it in. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll do that. I'll do that. Ah. Hang on a sec. Ah. Do that. And then. Do that. Excellent. Good, good, good. So he's all coloured in. Well, he isn't. But now. now mm. That's the base colour, all done. And now I'm just going to. Uh, Oh, uh, if I change the flow, it becomes more like a pen, 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 doesn't it? Mm, so, um, is it that? Oh yeah, no. The more pressure I put on, so no pressure, more pressure, more pressure, more pressure. Yeah. So you can you can use it like a marker pen. Um, so I'm going to sort of colour him up. Like this, and it just gives um, a sort of marbly effect, a more sketchy kind of look. Which I think this needs. Nose. 
sort of it hugs the cracks. And it ex accentuates um, the expression as well, so you can make it look tighter. lips are, this sort of presses them together, you know. I do wish my children hadn't watched The Simpsons. <laughs> um, just thinking about the end of um, uh, Planet of the Apes. And basically any ending was done, any famous iconic ending was done on, uh, on The Simpsons. So <sighs> my son knew the end of um, Planet of the Apes before he saw it because of the bloody Simpson. <laughs> no, you bastard! Apparently that you bastards, crazy son of a bitches or whatever he, does, he says, was um, he had lived that. So there. Uh, they were sort of talking about acting, and um, I think people overact. I think Tom Hardy completely overacts. And uh, they were talking, I think, oh, who was it? It was um, Kirk Douglas. I can't remember what film it was in, but it was a. I'm doing white at the moment, by the way. Um, Stanley Kubrick. I think it was a, a war film and um, critics were saying how when he was looking uh, out to this uh, war front, you know, this battlefield, how enigmatic he looked and what he was thinking and all this sort of stuff. And the actual uh, direction Kubrick gave him was look bored. <laughs> oh dear. <coughs> Yeah, yeah, that's Tony Kubrick, eh? <coughs> so yeah, sort of white eyes. The reverse panda, as we call it in the trade. <laughs> I suppose the difference is, you know, um, Trump doesn't know I exist. <sighs> it, you know, I suppose he's done well for himself. You know, <sighs> I'm looking for positives. I try and be positive. I think um, when bad things happen, the only way you're going to get out of it is to be positive. Um, and do things rather than sit there and mope and go, oh, poor me. <sighs> Hence why I'm doing this. <laughs> if you want to buy my comic, it's £5. Etsy. Look, stick tunes. Or, or follow me on Patreon. That would be great. If you could follow me on Patreon, that would be lovely. Make my day. Like my week. Um, do, 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 right, here we go. Oops. No. No. It's not bad. Yeah, 
ちゃうよ。おサイベイクライサイ。How many times? Statue. God. Right. Okay, it's not looking too bad. I quite like that. As I say, I'm going to put this on a t shirt design as well.、Um, because there's a shop coming out. I will, show, I'll, I will tell you what it's called and where it is at when it does come out. It's going to be online. Um, it's going to have all my stuff on it, it's going to be amazing. Good friend of mine is running it, he's got a nice little business going,、um, and he's sorted out all the shipping and what have you.、Uh, I think it's really quite cheap shipping, it's amazing, it, but it has, it's all printed in America, so it has to come from America. Uh, it takes about 10 days apparently. But it, it was cheaper to do it in America than it was here, shipping wise. I think it's like three pounds on it here. Isn't that crazy? So, yeah, little white highlights. Well, not white. It's, um, it's, it's I've got it at a 37 opacity. And it just pops everything out. And just being quite fast and loose with it. But I want it to have a sort of texture to it. To look like a statue, which I think it does. I think I've done that. Apologies for the stupid accent. There are accents I do, and I don't mean to,、uh, but just like for certain words. A friend of mine's called Andrew, and I go, Andrew!、Uh, hello, Andrew! And I, that probably drives him up the wall, but he's kind enough not to slap me around the face.、Uh, I think he accepts the fact that I'm an idiot and he allows me that, which I thank him for. Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> hey. Is that when you say Rangers? Rangers! <laughs> oh, no, stop! Stop it now! Right. So. We are coming to the unveiling of the joke. <sighs> Big moment. Drum roll, please. Oh, I've got a drum. Okay, and just gonna just fill this in a bit. Get a shadow. Okay. And I'm going to do it. Oh, hang on a sec.、Uh, So, let's find a nice typeface. I'll just write statue. Oh no, I'll write the. Let's put it up so I can see it. Oh. Up you go. The. Oh, oh that's like the, the, isn't it? That typeface. I used to like them. Right, um. Got a bit, maybe times. Oops. Times.
regular, maybe bold. Yeah. Would it have the? Hmm. Maybe just statue, right? But then it's the. No, just statue. Statue of liability. <laughs> the statue of liability. Come on. I spelled that right, haven't I? I'll just check. Liability. That's how it's spelled, isn't it? C. C. Yeah. Right. Okay. So statue of liability. Okay. Uh, so what I do is you need to rasterize that, otherwise you can't um, free transform it the way I want to. So statue of liability. And it's funny anyway. <laughs> well, I, I think it's funny anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, so hopefully you look at it, think it's funny, and then you see the actual tagline. That's 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 the idea. Um, so uh, oh crikey! Uh, oh yeah. So what I'm going to do is, oh no, hang on, hang on a sec. Ah oh dear, let's just get it down here for a sec. So I've just uh, marqueed it and um, copy and pasted that colour there, the grey, and now I'm going to bevel and emboss it. Hey! And I'll do an inner bevel. Um, let me see. Oh, yeah, that's it. Ooh! That looks good. Just make the size a bit bigger. No. That reads pretty well. Uh, soften it a bit. Yeah. I think that's that's pretty good. Um, no, it works better like that. Statue of liability. Ha! Huh. I'll just sign it, and I'll be on my way. I'll just do a little shadow. I don't know. I don't think it needs it. What I'll do is I will write my name. Actually, in the statue, just here. One. Oh, I'm doing it in black. Doi! And turn that off, yeah. No, I'm still doing that. Oh, maybe it's that one. What's going on? Um, that's it. There we go, stick. My moniker. Hide it first. <laughs> Don't be childish. Right, there we go. Alright, chaps. So, whoa, hey, crotch shot. Sorry about that. Hey. Yep, that's the wrong way around. There we go. So, uh, oh. Hang on a sec. There it is. Hope you like it. And um, I'll chat to you chaps later. Hang on, got to turn it off. Go away. Oh God, what have I done?
Well, I messed that up. <laughs> I don't know if it saved to um, Facebook, but never mind. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I'll speak to you chaps later. <laughs>